Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Reeti and I'm back with another lecture in the DBMS series. So in the last couple of lectures, we learned about normal forms, decomposition and much more things. In this particular video, we would be learning about a refinement to the third normal form that is Boyce code normal form. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the very first question which would be coming to your mind is why do we even need to learn about Boyce code normal form if we have already learned about third normal form and you are saying that this is a refinement to the third normal form. So what was the issue in third normal form? So if you remember according to third normal form, if there is a dependency x determines y, x should either be a super key or a candidate key or y can be a prime attribute. So because of this or we were encountering some anomalies and some data redundancy. Let me explain you why. So consider there is a relation R which is having attributes as A, B, X and Y. In this particular relation R, B and Y are prime attributes and X is a candidate key. So consider there are two functional dependency X determines Y, A determines B. So in this since x is a candidate key, we can say that it follows the third normal form rule. So this particular functional dependency is in third normal form. Now coming to this dependency, here a is neither a candidate key or super key, but here b is a prime attribute. So because of this, we can say that this particular functional dependency also follows the third normal form rule. But here a wasn't a candidate key or super key because of which there was some data redundancy or duplicacy which was there and it was causing some certain anomalies to be present in our table. Now because of that the boys code normal form was introduced so that we can add some refinement to the third normal form. Now according to boys code normal form or BCNF, a relation should be in third normal form. Second for a given functional dependency x determines y, x should always be a candidate key or super key and should only determine non-prime attributes. So according to the boys code normal form it says that there shouldn't be any or condition x or the determinant should always be a candidate key or super key. So that there is no data redundancy or the data redundancy is reduced. So let's understand from an example. Consider that there is a relation R which is having attributes as A, B, C and D and there are some functional dependencies which are provided. So find if this particular relation is in BCNF or not. So what we will do is first we will identify the candidate key. So let me just write down all the attributes which is present in our table and then we will see if the dependent is present here or not and if its determinant is also present here or not. If it's present then we can discard the dependent. So C is the dependent and its determinant is AB. So since C is present AB can determine C so we can discard C. Now AB D is present. Now coming to this functional dependency D is the dependent and AB is the determinant. D is also present and AB is also present. So we can discard the dependent and now AB is present. Now there are no functional dependencies so what we will do is we will take a closure of AB so it will give me A, B, C and D and there is no proper subset of AB which will give me all the attributes. So I can say that AB is a candidate key. So AB is the candidate key here. Now as part of second step we have to check for the candidate key or super key in LHS. So these are the functional dependencies. So coming to the first functional dependency since AB is the candidate key and AB determines C we can say that LHS AB is a candidate key so it follows the boys code normal form. Now coming to the second functional dependency that is AB determines C since again AB is a candidate key so this also follows the BCNF rule. So we can say that this particular relation is in BCNF. So this was all about BCNF in this particular video. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video please hit the like button if you're someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you find it useful can go ahead and subscribe also if you have not followed me on my social media handles you can go ahead and follow the links are in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all